This is a box opener. This is a box. This is the letter H. This says vehicles. That says Mattel. This is a Hot Wheels H case unboxing from 2017. It's brought to you as always by a j Toys. That's where the case came from. a j Toys com to order your cases lots of different cases coming be ready we're going to open this up like I said this is the H case there's the cutting there's the slicing there's the other slicing and there's the opening oh and there's a bent card you'll see that in a second anyway H case H I will skip that because it looks like number one so J K L M skip O because that looks like zero N I'm getting all my letters mixed up. All right, let's just um there's a lot of cases still to go, but let's go ahead and open this case up and see what is inside. H I J K Anyway, I already opened the case. I can't really start the video without you guys making it sound like I, you know, anyway, I'd be faking it. So let's just see what is inside. And let's start with these three. Starting up top is the Ducati 1199, okay. Panny Gale, Bengali, I don't know, but it looks kind of nice, Italian colors. And there's a couple of Batmobiles. It just says Batmobile, I think this is from a cartoon. I'm gonna move my box opener over here. It's a clean looking car, and if you find a TH on that rear panel behind the rear window, that would be a super treasure hunt. But these are, alas, not. These are PR5 wheels. So, Batmobile and the Ducati. Throw those down. I'm just going to move our little setup here. Eh, we'll just keep it diagonal, right? Okay. Next up on a very mangled card. Look at that. Yikes. Boom car, 24 hours. It looks like a new color of the El Viento, right? Isn't that a more of a rose colored compared to the kind of black and maroon of the last one? Volkswagen Kafer Racer in black. We've seen that before. We don't, we have not seen this, I believe, recolor. Wasn't it yellow first of the 69 Camaro Z28? Well, if you want your boom car on a crisp card, there it is, and that's a boat. A boat. No one cares about that one. There's a fire truck, and there's a bone shaker. All right, we'll go back to that one. That is the Fugu Z in orange. I don't know if you technically call it the Fugu Z because it's not white. The Fugu Z is white, but it does say it on the orange. It does say it on this orange car, so... My feeling is we're going to see this recolored, or not recolored, but in all kinds of different liveries as the custom 240Z. It'll lose that Fugu Z marker. Okay, here's three that I think will be interesting. Number one is the CCM Country Club Muscle. This, some people have noticed, it looks a little bit like um, the Oldsmobile, I can't remember. Um... Plastic body. I don't know if it's always had the plastic body. I think when it first came out, it was a metal body with plastic base. Um, you Hot Wheels historians can fill me in. But it's a cool looking generic. Kind of a bummer that it's plastic now. Um, Camaro. Special edition in black. That looks pretty sharp. And a new model that people might like. The Milano from Guardians of the Galaxy. One of you mentioned it was named... the. Milano is named after Alyssa Milano because there's all kinds of 80s references and classic rock and everything else. And if you grew up in the 80s, you undoubtedly had a crush on Alyssa Milano. So this is cool. It does come with a stand. You can see we actually put it on lamleygroup.com a couple days ago so you can see pictures of it. But there's the stand it sits on. It's pretty, it's fairly, you can see some plastic parts there, but. It's metal on the top, metal on the bottom. It has a decent amount of weight to it. That's a purple dart. And those are some rigor motors. And I don't like saying it. It's too hard to say. 
Okay, roller toaster, recolor in red. Good toast there. And the time a taxi gets a new color, right? The other one was green, I think. Kind of a light green. Now it's in orange. That looks pretty cool. Some smashed wheels there. It's a very colorful Hummer thing, but it's supposed to be the Rockster, and that's called a Turbot. If you and your friends want a Milano, no, don't fret. You get one, one for each person. And here's a recolor, green color of the Turbo Rooster. Again, I don't remember if I passed the treasure hunt or not. I tend to miss it. I would know if it was the super, but um, the treasure hunt, I don't know. We've seen that before, and I don't. I think we've seen that before too, right? It's pretty sharp in black with the metallic blue. Look at this. Look at this card. Really, kind of got it. So you fans of the quad rod, hide your eyes, because oh, look at the card there. But that's all right because the car above it, there was two two quad rods. But I think this is the one people like to see. That is the Datsun 620. Returns to the main line after a foray last year in the nine packs. Is a nine pack exclusive. There it is in white. I love white cars. Black without wheels. Gretty logo on the back. Japanese nostalgic car logo on the side on the door. That is super sharp. Planning on doing a photo feature on all of the 620s released so far. So look for that. I already did one on, uh, uh, I feel like I did one from this case, but maybe I didn't. All right, I'm gonna reach this way to try and whoa, make a mess here. Those are jammed in there. Hold on. Box opener, you go here. Dots and you go here. Must be some sort of... All right. I got two of them. 32 Ford. Let's get that third car out of there. Oops. All right. Well, we'll figure that out. Hope I'm not destroying anything. Cars are rolling everywhere. That's what happens when you jam something in there. That's what's jammed in there. Got a cracked card, and that is the Ford Torino Talladega in purple. Okay, that was a lot of effort. Okay. Winning formula, which is a recolor of a treasure hunt, but it is not a treasure hunt because it's clear right there. There's no logo there. Here's the recolor of the Mazda MX-5 Miata. And speaking of treasure hunts, there it is because it's pretty obvious on the roof what that is. Now, I am assuming, since this is a Hot Wheels art car, there should be a letter there, but because there's not, this will also get a recolor. I'm just figuring, I'm just guessing because they like to put the letters on top. So this will be a, get a recolor and will be a letter car, right? So that is the treasure hunt, the Fandango. All right. I'm always proud of myself when I discover the regular treasure hunt. Okay, more Camaros. Well, that's not, but that's a monster dairy delivery. That is a 16 Camaro SS. In silver, I've seen it in some multi packs. That is pretty. That's really nice. All right. Made a mess of my setup here. I'm still working on it. Okay. Sharp, sharp, sharp. Baja Holler. We'll get to that in a second. That's new. Ford Focus RS in black. That's really sharp. I'll take that over the white. That RS is great. Baja Holler. That's all the hints you need of who designed it. And that J. Lou up top. It's a cool dude. His name's Jimmy. He must have sponsored the truck. Recolor of the Drifta. 
and the terrain storm. Yay. Aeropod and a flash drive. We talked about that before. Okay, Street Creeper, there's your 67 Chevy C10, which is in stores now with the Zamax that have hit. And you might find a Super if you're lucky. Let me know if you do. It's kind of cool. And there's the Tesla Model S in white to match the Tesla Model X in white that was released a few batches ago. So kind of cool um, to have those matching Another Baja Holler and two of the Sky Dome. I apologize if I didn't show the Sky Dome long enough. Aeropod, recolor of the BMW, which we saw in the last case. And, um, all right. Um, head starter, tune Japanese racer, and then. The Volkswagen Beetle, the tuned recolor in yellow. Looks good with the wood paneling, little woody beetle. Boy, they saved the best for last in this case, didn't they? All right, that's pretty good. Here is a Porsche 934.5, which you're finding in the G case right now. You're also finding this Lincoln Continental, and I think you're also finding this Lamborghini Veneno. So yay, but... I think the highlight of this case is easily what they put at the very bottom. And no, it's not the monster, dairy, whatever. All right, it's these two. We've shown these before, the 2016 Ford GT race car. They put two in there, and deservedly so, because I think this will go and get gobbled up. Another Rio Sada design. We talked a little bit about this, and I put I featured this model on the blog this morning. Or actually, today's Friday, so um, Thursday morning. So go to lamleygroup.com. I don't know if I can show this, but if you can see, the flying buttresses are there. There, see that? Look right in the back by the side window, and you can see that you can see through it. Maybe from the back it's easier. Yeah, there you go. See the card through that? Anyway, he really put this together nice. It's a nice, long, slender, low-to-the-ground casting. And I think it's beautiful. Cool livery. But I think they designed in-house at Hot Wheels and Ford liked it. So, yeah, I would love to see a premium version with the Le Mans winning uh, livery, that red, white, and blue livery. I'm sure they would too, so I don't know if they can make that happen. So, Anyway, that is your Hot Wheels H case. There's some cool stuff in there. I'll have to go back and review it, take a picture. But hope you like it. Tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you liked in the case. And I think you'll see this in the next two or three weeks. Or just buy a case from A&J Toys. Talk to you guys later. Bye.